What is going on guys? So today I have a little experiment I'm going to be doing. I have here Adams Polish's waterless wash and I have it on Project NB1 here, the 2000 Miata NB. And if you guys watched my last couple videos, you know that this is Plasti Dip in burnt copper alloy. And you can see the reflection there, looks pretty good. Goes well with those Vanti Storm One wheels. Um, but right now, I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, the car is a little dusty. I see a little better back here, maybe. Um, yeah, the car has coated dust on it. This car was driven about 700 miles, 750-ish miles, um, from where I lived in West Virginia, down here to Mississippi. See some bugs here on the front, maybe. Um, and it went through a couple of rainstorms on the way down. So what I'm gonna be doing is experimenting with this wash here just to see how well this waterless wash does on Plasti Dip. And disclaimer, this is the first time I've ever actually used this product whatsoever. So we'll see overall if I actually like the product or not and then compare it to uh, if it looks good on Plasti Dip or not. So let's give it a test here. All right, so I got kind of things laid out here. As you can see, I broke the hood up into three different sections. Now this section, I'm not gonna touch at all. I'm gonna leave it kind of dusty, a little bit dirty, maybe a little bit of water spots if I get a little better light. This one's gonna use the waterless wash. And then this one, I'm gonna use the waterless wash on it too, but then I'm going to apply the dip uh, top coat on it, which I did the dip top, top coat on this car right after it was done, and I can already say that this stuff is nice. It works really well. It does what they say. It is basically a wax for dip. Um, it, and it works really well. So you're gonna be able to see kind of, hopefully the plan is you're gonna be able to see the differences between, you know, nicest, maybe medium range I'm expecting, and then of course dirty. So that's, that's kind of the plan here. And we're gonna get started with this and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Okay guys, so as you saw, I did two passes of the Adams Polishes waterless wash um, in the center and on the other side, um, just to kind of be consistent. Um, and then I did two passes of the dip, uh, dip Your Car Top Coat on the right side too. And I can just initially say, just the feeling of wiping that one off after wiping this one off, this one is so much smoother. Um, with just the waterless wash, you kind of get like the friction of the dip, you know, it feels still kind of rubbery. This almost feels like paint. Um, so let's look at how they kind of compare across, I guess, the hood here. Um, so you can kind of still see dusty, dusty. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's still dirty almost. I can, I can see it here. I got a light, let's see, I don't know. You can kind of pick up all the dust and dirt. And if we just move straight over, you can see how just much cleaner I guess it is. I don't know if 
that helps you guys any. And then if we move over to here, once again, it's gonna be hard to pick up on camera, but maybe, like I'm saying, it's really hard to pick up on camera, but with the top coat, it actually, it, it is brighter over here. It's, it's strange, the camera's not picking it up very well because there's no real light in here, but it's, it's kind of crazy how that picks up. But I guess we're comparing here, you need to be sticking with the Adams polishes stuff. So overall, Adams polishes on dip. What do I think? Um, it's smooth, you know what I mean? I don't feel like it messed with the paint or anything. Um, it cleaned really well. I don't know if you guys can see the rag here. It pulled a bunch of the dirt off really well. Um, it didn't, um, with this being rubber, it didn't stick or anything, I'm trying to wipe it. It glided really nice. Um, and I didn't, I mean, I know I only did kind of half a hood here on a Miata, but as you can see, I didn't spray that much at all. And it, for probably a small car, that'd be great. If you had maybe, say, a big truck or something, I don't know if I'd recommend it. Um, you may be going through gallons of that, you know, that stuff here. But overall, pretty satisfied. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole car, and I'm gonna do maybe a little after walk around uh, video of the whole entire car, just just so you can guys can see if it shines up or anything right now. So. Take a good look at it, and the next time you see it, it'll be all clean with the waterless wash, and we can kind of talk about it once again. All right, guys, so I'm done wiping the whole car off with uh, Adams Polish's waterless wash, and as you can see, it shined it up pretty good. Here, we'll walk around here. No more real dust on the surface. A little bit, just probably from the microfiber itself. Um, yeah, just a little bit. I got dogs, so I have dog hair everywhere, so don't mind that. But honestly, it came out pretty good. Um, you can see it's got a little bit of shine to it. Let's see if I can catch this natural light. It brought some shine back to it. it did, there you go, there's some reflection. No, it did good. I'm actually really surprised at how it did. It didn't stick or anything. I was really expecting it to almost stick on the surface, you know, and be a hard time to wipe off. Um, so you can look at the rag here, that's how dirty she got after wiping it. And I noticed I pulled the tape off and you can see, oh there it is, there it is. You can see that line right there. Look at that, so that's the un, uh, uh, untreated with the waterless wash. There's the waterless wash and you can see that just the tape strip right there where nothing touched that. And then it goes from the waterless wash to waterless wash with the dip coat. And you can kind of see so look at this little light curve right here where the light's reflecting. Look how sh much shinier it is kind of up there compared to over in here. You can see where it kind of, it, it's really hard to tell on camera guys, I, I'm sorry, but it is a lot shinier with that and uh, it did really well. So that's a really good comparison right there. You can see. And uh, so let's look at the bottle here. So this is how much I use to do a Miata. I don't know if you can see about, I don't know what I'd say, a third of the bottle. Yeah, probably about a third of the bottle to do a Miata. So, not that bad. Um, like I said, if you were gonna do probably a, a full-size truck or whatever, uh, you better have a gallon of this stuff. But I believe this is not that uh, expensive on Adam's websites. So, you know, if you, Maybe if you live in an apartment complex or whatnot and you don't have access to, say, to wash your car all the time, that may not be a bad little thing. Um, but yeah, overall, guys, I think uh, I think the kind of results speak for itself. It did really, really well. And honestly, with how much I drive this car and not really in, you know, rain or weather conditions nor normally, um, I, that's a good option for me. I don't feel like breaking out the wash stuff every time to wash all my cars. That truck takes long enough. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in for more. I got more things coming for this car right now. As you can kind of see, I'm stripping the interior down a little bit. Um, let's just say the interior is not going to be that color and have all this nasty foam on it here soon so that's the plan for that that's kind of what i'm doing with with that right now guys but uh like i said subscribe to the channel tune in for more with this thing 
Um, you can follow me on Instagram. I have a specific Instagram just for this car called Project NB1. So Project underscore NB1. Um, follow that, guys, and you'll see a lot of kind of behind the scenes photos probably that I'm going to be posting here soon. Got a whole board uh, build list over there. Um, can't really see it, but of what I have plans for this car. So big things coming, big things coming, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.